Hey guys, this is For Reason here, and I wanted to make a tutorial series uh, based on the SpongeBob uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Speedrun. Uh, now, just a disclaimer before we start: this series isn't really dedicated to um, like routes and socks and what to do, and you know, it's more of um, like the strats and glitches that are used uh, and that you need to know, regardless. Uh, as of this date, the video was uh, released. Um, there are timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a certain part. I'm just going to be going in order of uh, what I think is best. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting off with all the bikini bottom tricks and glitches and stuff. Uh, we have a new game started right here. All you want to do is just uh, hit the menu button and go all the way to patch your socks. It'll teleport you uh, right outside Spongebob's house in a bikini bottom. All that does is just skips you having to collect all the shiny objects in the kitchen. It wastes time when you can just come back there, uh, later and get them. The next trick I want to show you guys is actually a pretty easy one. Uh, it's just how to get on top of the pineapple without using the platforms that spawn and takes a while. So all you want to do is come behind Squidward's house on this box, jump and hit up here. Get I like to get about right here. And then you just want to double swing up here. Usually there's a golden pair of uh, underwear up here. And then all you want to do is just jump over here like that. And get the spatula that's right here. And it saves a lot of time. Okay, for this next trick, this is going to be a little more complicated. Is how to get the spatula on top of the rest home without uh, using the platform. There are many ways to do it, but I find the best one is to come over here, double jump. You can land about right here. I, I like to use that little line as like a little guide jump up here uh, this, is, this is pretty easy but there's a guard right here so you got to kind of jump around like that and then you can jump over here and this this is the tricky part you gotta kind of jump and just keep like repeatedly tapping X uh, until you get a pretty good high like here and then you just want to jump over and uh, get the spatula like here this next trick I want to show you guys is how to skip uh, from hub 2 to hub 3 without fighting robot Patrick. It saves a bunch of time so this is a very neat trick to learn. Uh, what you want to do is come over to this so you want to see this little grass spec that Spongebob is underneath now. I don't really have a good way to line this up I kind of just uh, guess but you want to be as flush to the wall as possible and just bubble ball into the wall and you want to hold forward at all times uh, because what will happen is the ball will get stuck in the wall and bounce up and it will glitch you to where you bounce high in the air. Okay, as you can see, I just did it. Um, it takes some practice. It's still a new uh, glitch to me, so I'm not really too sure how to get the best like lineup or whatever. But basically, you want to do what I just did and kind of line it up to the bottom. Do you see uh, SpongeBob Shadow right here? Uh, you want to line that up with this fence line. And then what I like to do is just follow the fence all the way to this point right here where you're on top of the purple box. Uh, you want to stay more to the uh, right because if you go too far to the left, you'll fall back inbounds into hub two and that's not what you want. Uh, and so now we're going to do a double jump uh, and get on top of the uh, chum bucket. This part's pretty easy. It's just a regular double jump you hit in the air. I like to wait a bit and then go like that and then you get the thing on here. And then I also like to just jump down here and there's a golden uh, pair of uh, underwear right here. That last trick will take you some time, so if you don't want to risk jumping on the uh, divider right here, I would recommend just running straight and trying to aim for the Krusty Krab. Usually that'll get you uh, over the boundary without you being stuck. Um, but say you do that and you uh, you can't get on top of the chum bucket, a good, uh, good way I found to get a uh, good backup to it is come over here, jump on these tiki's. And then usually you can get up on that nut. I find it's easier to just do a double jump here, get on top of the B, and then get on top of the C, and then just jump up like that, and then you're at the same location. This one should be pretty easy. Uh, you just come inside the chum bucket, and to get that spatula up there, a good way is to just jump on this. Whoops. Jump on this, and then this pipe right here is non-collision, uh, so you can just jump right through it. You want to aim for that kitchen, you want to do a double spin jump, and jump up here, and then I usually like to headbutt up there and get it. The final thing in Bikini Bottom I want to show you guys is how to 
uh, do the inside of Krusty Krab the most efficient way. Uh, so if we just start, you want to jump on this table and then jump and headbutt that machine right there. That way no more can spawn uh, and you can just finish off the ref the usual way. Usually I like to get up here, let that guy blow up and then use a uh, missile to hit this guy. And then bam, you're done. It's that fast. Okay, moving on to jellyfish fields. This will probably be the first place uh, you guys go in your speed run. I don't know. Uh, but all you want to do is just run over here. Um, you want to collect as many coins as possible. I usually just try to collect coins because you're going to need to farm them later on. So why not just collect as much as possible? All these crates can add up over time. So it's always good to just uh, collect them. But over here, there's a sock down there. And instead of just going all the way around, we can just come down here and you want to stand right on this edge and kind of look at the sock. Uh, then you want to do a late double uh, double jump and you're right here. Uh, take some practice. I used to be a tear about this, but uh, it it's pretty easy now. It just takes a lot of practice. Okay, moving on straight from that, you're still in the cave. Um, there are many ways to get up to uh, Gary to do the... Uh, the spatula up there. I like to jump right here on this tiki and then you can jump all the way to the top uh, and then usually I do a double spin to right here and then then you're up to the area. I'll show this area later but there are many ways to get up there. Another way that might be easier but a little slower is if you want to uh, again jump on these crates and then double a spin up here to this spot up here. Jump to your left and then jump up here and then you're right at the same spot. The final way is probably the hardest way, but I think it's the fastest, so it's kind of that risk reward. Um, but what you wanna do is if you look on to the right, you'll see a kind of L-shaped pattern of the stars on the side of this cliff. What you wanna do is the middle of the left column and the bottom of the L to the right, you wanna line that up so it's like just in the middle. I'll zoom in on the video so you can see. But you wanna aim there and jump there. There'll be like a little ledge right here. As you can see right where I'm standing, that's where you kinda of wanna aim in. Uh, but then you wanna do a spin up here. And sometimes you fall. Luckily Hans will put you back uh, right at that one spot so you don't have to make that jump again. But what you wanna to try to do is you wanna to try to angle yourself um, to a way where you're uh, pointing to the top left, if that makes sense. Uh, so this way, sometimes it won't work, but um, usually I find that the top, if you angle yourself to the top left, you'll stick on it. See, just like that, you kind of catch yourself and you want to jump immediately. I, I have had some times where I fall off if I don't jump immediately. But uh, now that leads us to this area. So now all three ways, it takes you up to this area. All you want to do is just jump up here. There's an invisible like platform right here. So you just want to go like that and then double spin over here and you're over here and you can talk to Gary and uh, that'll unlock this thing over here. Okay, so this next part is right after you uh, do that one glitch is uh, you're going to want to jump up here to this little ledge and uh, you want to jump and be right here. This is like kind of like a little pocket, um, but you want to always land there and then usually you can double jump up to here. Um, and so then after you're here, you want to jump to this little thing on the uh, purple tree. And there are two ways to do this. Um, the first way is that you can angle yourself kind of, I like to line it up with that tree right there. Um, and you want to spin and then jump over here. Sometimes I fail. Like I said, it's a, it's not a super hard one, but sometimes it, uh, it's just challenging. But there's a sock up here, so that's the first way to do it. Okay, so the second way to do it is you want to go to the same tree and you want to hop on this uh, leaf right here. And what you want to do is you kind of want to double jump and there's a platform like a barrier right there and so you want to try to avoid that. It just takes some practice and getting used to and there you go. I, uh, I have more trouble on that strat so I probably won't use that. It saves about one second's top compared to the other way if you do them both the correct way. So I think of it more of a swag strat but I mean to each their own. If you can't do that, then there's also another way to get up. It's slightly slower and you still need to go collect that sock in most routes. But if your route doesn't call for uh, that sock, it might just be easier to come over here and jump on this tiki. 
do a double spin over to like this point and then usually you can just jump up here like this so this part might be a little tricky on the first try uh, but with some practice it becomes really easy all you want to do is kind of I like to get right here just on the tree it doesn't have to be precise just in front of it somewhere and you're gonna try to jump up to here I usually aim for that little bump on the right branch uh, that's a really good place to aim and so after you're here you can just jump up like that and you're on top of this tree now here is the tricky part sometimes you can mess up and stuff but um, all you want to do is just do a double spin and land up here uh, like with some practice you'll get used to that and then right here you I, I usually just line it up with the tip of that uh, little rock and then just do another double spin and then you're right here uh, at the spatula you can also go around but that that little trick just saves a little time so after you do the slide uh, you want to come down here this part is super annoying I don't really have like a good way to do it uh, it's killed many of my runs but uh, I'm still practicing it it's, it's very tough but what I like to do is uh, stand usually around here you want to aim uh, like straight with the edge of that grass in the shadow I'll zoom in on screen so you can see it right now uh, but that's the spot you want to aim at. All you want to do after that is run, do a one spin, and ground pound. See, I, I didn't make it there because I didn't go far enough. But basically, uh, what you want to do is you want to try to get as much vertical and horizontal distance as you want. You don't want to hit a second time in air. You only want to hit once. And so then, uh, right as you hit the wall, basically, you want to ground pound, and it'll clip you up and uh, hit the top of it. Like that. So uh, that skips having to do all the uh, buttons and it gets you to Patrick as fast as possible. So for this other trick, you might be wondering why we're in downtown Bikini Bottom, but you want to spawn at this one um, right here. This is the one because you spawn as Sandy. Uh, then you want to come back to Jellyfish Shields. I usually do this one. I think that's the closest one to this spot. Um, but this trick is really interesting because uh, it allows you to skip a lot of time. So there are two ways to do that. You can either, if you have the box unlocked, I usually just like doing that and then coming over here and jumping on this yellow tree all the way up to here. Um, so that's one way. The other way, of course, is to go down the slide and then jump onto the platform at the end. This might be the easier way. Uh, and if you don't have the sock on the slide, then it might be a faster way to get socks and stuff. But you can also do that once you're up here though there's a cool trick um where, that you can do with sandy to have an in infinite lasso trick um but basically all you want to do is jump on the th uh on the side of an object to where she uh grabs on and pulls yourself up as soon as she does that uh you want to lasso so i usually hit l2 um or i guess that's uh the left bumper on xbox i don't know xbox controllers um, but all you want to do is just jump on the side and then as soon as you grabs up uh, You want to lasso and if you did it right it, it'll pop up as this All you want to do after that you want to walk off the platform like this and then walk back on What that does is allows you to correct yourself and go downwards if you didn't do that Then you'd be going up forever and you couldn't lasso back downwards So step off and step back on then you want to come over here You want to lasso down like I uh, just showed you then you want to ride your thing right here and so you'll go super fast. Uh, what you want to do now is aim for that little edge right there. Um, usually you want to stay as close to the rock as possible just because Hans can come and swipe you out. Um, but here is the real tough part. You got to stay as close to the rock as possible. It's super difficult because sometimes you'll get it uh, and then sometimes Hans will pull you back in. But after that, you just want to come to like this little area right here and then come to the side of that. And then once you're in here, you kind of want to like use the slag tights or slag mites, I don't know the correct terminology, to make yourself go downward until you land on this little platform. After that, there's a spatula here and you can just jump up, collect that. It'll do the collecting animation and then you just want to, again, use the wall and rocks and stuff to go downward as fast as possible. It takes a lot of practice and uh, once you get the sandy lasso trick down, uh, you can have as many tips as you want on this. Okay, for this next park, you're gonna need to have uh, unlocked the bubble bowl. So I would recommend saving like this section for after you get to uh, the second hub because you'll have your bubble bowl. But basically, 
the over here there are the all the uh, checkpoints or whatever and what you can do is actually from right here you can bubble bowl and hit um, this one and then this one right here and you can jump over like that and then just bubble bowl all the others and then uh, depending on what you want to do you can uh, either bubble bowl that for the last one and just let the animation play or whatever but if you wanted to, um, you could jump on the uh, final uh, thing over here, and then what you want to do is bubble bowl the little antenna thing sticking out. And if you get it just right, it'll uh, it'll break the thing. You'll drop, and you'll be right on the spatula, and it skips the animation and stuff. So it's it's faster, but it's uh, it's also a lot harder. So after that's done, you want to get over to where you can farm for shiny objects. Usually most routes will allow, uh, will require that. So what I like to do, and that I don't see many people do, because it's the easiest for me, is to jump on these, uh, this tiki right here. And usually I just do a double jump and then slam right there. And then if you do it right, you should land up here and be able to uh, hit the tiki right here and then farm all you want. Okay, what you can also do is wait for this bottom tiki to go up, jump on that, and then try to aim for that little thing. You can go um, by those little barnacle things. Uh, they're not glitchable. So that's another way to do it. I find it a little bit slower because you, you might not get the good cycle for the tikis. So I usually just do this method. Okay, the final method that uh, most people I see use is uh, to come over to this tree over here and you kind of want to uh, double jump and aim for that little branch right there. You want to smash at the end so uh, you can get on top of it. And then most people, let me get back up there. But most people go for this little branch right here. And all you want to do is double jump and then hit onto this platform. And then you're up here and you jump to this platform. And you can co come up here. Um, this way is good because it gives you a little more uh, extra shiny objects. There's a uh, destructible thing here that you can destroy and then a couple explosive tikis. And then just jump right down, down here and then you're back at the same place. Okay, for this trick you want to come over. Um, once you destroy that tiki you want to come over here and then come back. And then you want to, like, drown yourself, basically. That didn't sound good, but you know what I mean. But, uh, once you do that, if you walked over there, you should hit, um, this checkpoint. And then you can go back and do it again. This is great for early game shiny object riding. Uh, when you have to go to, like, say, Sand Mountain or whatever that requires so many shiny objects in a row. It'll allow you to, uh, have a lot of shiny objects to use. After you're done there, you can just simply buy the shell. I usually do that and then just do the same thing as the other one, but instead of going to the left, you want to go to the right. Like that. And then here, you can uh, get right, right here and then do a double spin jump over to collect a sock. And then there are many ways to get to the top here. I'll show you the first one right now. So you kind of want to line yourself up on the this patch of grass, basically where the tall grass goes in the short grass or whatever. And then you want to try to aim uh, towards that ledge. Kind of want to run, jump, and then you want to ground pound at the very end. Um, this one usually takes me a couple of tries. Uh, it's not actually that hard. I'm just an idiot. So uh, yeah, like that. And then you, you get up here. You can also ground pound ground pound here whoops I didn't do it here let me show you like that um, but as you saw it's very risky if you miss you have to go do the whole trick again so what I usually do is just jump right here and then do a double spin jump right there it's it's slower yes but I mean it's more like safe to do it like that Another way if you don't want to do that trick and it's way slower is to double jump over here and then just go through the normal route. You can uh, come up here and yeah, do it like that. It's much slower, but I mean, it's pretty much a guaranteed first try. So if you're not good at it, then maybe you want to try that. Quick note, because we'll use it later, but uh, what I just did was all you have to do is just whenever it's a bounce thing like that, all you want to do is headbutt 
and then you can just jump like normal it saves a little bit of time because headbutt go goes up faster than just normal jumping okay so we're at king jellyfish uh there are two ways to get up there really fast um and they kind of i i think they use the same amount of time but um this way you can jump on this uh sign right here and then you want to jump and head bash and it will start the fight it'll do the animation and start the fight you just want to jump once because if you jump twice you can't head smash and it won't go up there the way that i use is uh you want to jump once uh ground pound on bubble buddy and then you want to head dash like that uh get some practice it's not that hard once you do it um but yeah okay so for this trick it's just getting the sock that's under the thing um all you want to do is just i usually break that thing then right about like after that you just want to double jump and go in there there's a way to single jump i think it saves a little bit of time but i mean i, I always find the double jump to be more reliable because you can uh control yourself a lot better okay now for downtown bikini bottom this is actually a really fun stage i really like this um usually i collect these two uh things right here just by uh like jumping up and getting them you, uh, it's also faster to just get the sponge ball right there instead of just running over this area What most people actually don't know is that you can uh, smash the buttons without having to go up to the tiki's So usually I smash that one smash that one and to get coins. I usually go up and smash the boxes like that But yeah, you don't even need to uh, wait for the whatchamacallit. You can just go up there and smash the boxes And it's super easy so those are all the buttons uh, right there, and then you can just go up there and get the spatula that spawns up here. The reason I didn't destroy that is because you want to try to save as much underwear as possible. I just took, uh, I guess, three hits because there was an underwear right there. But if you, you just want to try to take as many non-hits as possible. But all you have to do is just double jump here, and then you should land on it or activate it. Either way, it'll give you it. So after completing that area over there, you want to come over here. Um, there will be a Tartar Sauce guy over here, so you just want to kill him. There will be a sock in here. It says hi, by the way. <laughs> uh, there are two ways to get on top of here. Uh, the fastest way is to jump on that rock and then do a spin jump right to here to this point and then jump up here. But another way if, is after you click the sock in here, you want to come over here and just jump up here. Um, both are pretty fast, uh, but the other one is faster Okay, so this section you want to practice a lot because you basically only have one chance uh, There is a backup and I'll show you that later But uh, this is how to do the fastest route you want to double jump from here And then when you're on here, you want to do a double spin jump this one You kind of want to do to get more height rather than distance uh, Which might be a little timey issue because you're used to just getting a lot of distance with these But let's say you missed it what you want to do is first off if you miss it one time you can just do that but that's a one-time thing and so you i usually just jump on the uh the bank and then come over here but this you want to um you only want to spin once and then spongebob will grab so if i do it right you want to kind of line it up uh with the front edge of that but you want to like that see i didn't get it it's a very hard jump so it's only for like backups, so it might just be, if you can't get it, it might but just be useful to reload and try it again. But let's see if I can get it. No. There we go. So, uh, that just took me about like 10 tries to do. So to be honest, if I were you, I would just restart and try to do that one jump. It's way easier. But once you're up here, all you want to do is just do a double spin over here uh, depending on your route you could collect that um, the route I do right now does not require that so you just want to jump down here and then usually you want to run to about like right here to get this checkpoint because that'll start the conversation with Gary and then that'll uh, get these platforms to go up and you can jump up here uh, but once you're up here usually I switch to Sandy um, and then right here you want to do that same sandy glitch so again what you want to do is you want to jump off and then have sandy grab on and then as soon as she grabs you want to hold uh, L2 or I guess you can use the X again but I would personally recommend using the left trigger uh, only because if you press X there's a chance that she could automatically jump up and then uh, you wouldn't be able to get back down so just a tip there 
But once you do uh, get this, you wanna immediately go over here. I usually like to line up with this little bolt right here and then jump up and you'll get caught by the window and then go right here. You get the spatula here and then all you wanna do is just jump up and then go inside there. It's, it's pretty easy after you get the trick down. Okay, so once you're here, uh, you also want to do another Sandy trick, believe it or not. So you, uh, it'll be used many times throughout a run. So I would recommend just practicing and practicing, practicing. Once you get good at it, it becomes very trivial. Uh, but anyway, I usually just do it on this side. Um, and just walk off, walk back on. Now what you can do is you can actually jump up here if the route calls for it and get the sock up here. That's one way you can do it. Another thing that you can do is do that same trick again. This is what um, I do personally, just because it um, it's one of the fastest ways to just uh, get to the end of the level number one. And also for a certain trick, uh, you're gonna need to get like a number of these steering wheels. So basically that trick works. You need to get at least six steering wheels. Um, for a trick to work basically the trick is like the kit for the kids in uh the beach goo lagoon and for the pitchers in rock bottom and the campers in kelp forest you can skip all of those just by getting six of these steering wheels um and it'll uh trick the game into thinking you've collected all those things and so i'll show that later but basically uh as you just saw you want to jump from um all the way up here you want to land kind of on that thing where that uh guy is right there i usually try to aim to land right exactly on it but i missed so i had to land there but land there then i usually land here because there's a sock here and then i just jump up one more time you want to kind of get on your thing and make sure your camera is po pointing this way so you slide that way and not backwards but once you're on this you have you're super fast you want to come over here around this area there's a steering wheel i usually get the steering wheel here uh but then you kind of want to go around here and if you see right there on that post uh you'll see that it kind of angles down you want to kind of hit that a little like that and then jump and fly like that uh start flying down that's the fastest way to get over there uh and right here you'll collect a spatula step on this thing and then you'll be at the very end of the level okay now we are in the sea needle um you will have to pay to get in here so make sure you're collecting shiny objects you want to be sandy and you want to jump out of this window and you want to lasso the very bottom of these boxes uh you're gonna let all the boxes fall down i usually look up look up to see there are no more but when the last one disappears you can be taken by hans and that counts as one you need to do that uh, three times. So now I have one. I'm, I have to do it two more times and be able to do this trick. Uh, but what this allows is that um, instead of doing all the uh, checkpoints as SpongeBob and then uh, the controls of that are very uh, weird and it's kind of lucky if you get it or not. Um, it depends just like on very a lot of factors. But this way is just faster and it's easier. And to be honest, it's a little more fun. So there you go. Okay, so now that I've done that three times, uh, that platform won't be there, by the way, so don't worry about that. Um, what you want to do is just double jump and fly over here, Sandy. And then you want to land kind of like right here. I usually come up here. There's a sock over there. I usually go get the sock, but uh, we're not going to talk about that, that for this, uh, this video. Um, but you're going to want to jump right here on this little platform. And... Uh, it's it's super janky uh this jump but there are two nuts uh i'll zoom in on the screen right now there are two nuts that you kind of want to aim for to jump uh you if you're not too like certain uh on just jumping you can also lasso like this you kind of want to aim for those nuts and then just jump up to this little platform right here this part's a little tricky so you got to get down but um, here, I gotta wait for the platform. But basically, all you wanna do is just try to do a 360 when you're falling on, off the edge on the button side, and then hit here, like that. Uh, and then it'll hit the button and the platform will spawn. You'll get the spatula and the platform will take you back over. After I do that, I usually change back to SpongeBob. 
Oh man, because you need to be SpongeBob to get the spatula, and if you've done it right, uh, then you will collect uh, the crab spatula right here. I've already done it, so that's why I didn't get it. Okay, last one is a little quickie. Um, old routes use this. I don't think any of the new routes uh, use it, but if you wanted to, you can do the sandy glitch here. You remember, get off and then get back on to do that. And then you want to come over here, collect this uh, little uh, wheel. Again, I don't use this, uh, but yeah. You want to line it up so you land on the top, like, last of that little guy, so it'll bounce you up. Then you can come over here and then uh, get this one as well. Just saves you a little bit of time if you need extra uh, steering wheels. Okay, at Goo Lagoon, we have a uh, short little trick right here. So you want to jump on this rock and then do a spin up here and do that. There's also, if you want to, you can get right here and do a jump like that and get out there. And then the other way is a little bit faster than the last one. You just jump on that rock and do it like that. Once you're up here, you kind of want to stay over here. Uh, this will skip the cutscene for this guy right here. Uh, and you kind of just want to get to Larry as fast as possible. Okay, this was actually a more recently found one, so uh, you might not know about it. But if you uh, you can double jump and land about right here, um, and then just make your way over all the way over to this right here. You kind of want to let it get down very low, and then do a double spin jump. And then you want to kind of like, as soon as you hit the water, you want to ground pound and you should be um, like teleported over. It's it's very finicky. Um, I'm still not 100% like, uh, like good about this. But what I find works best is that you kind of want to um, like go over a little to the left, but not too much. Like that. Except that didn't work. Yeah, so go. So that's how it looks. All you have to do after that is just come over here. And usually you can hit that and then uh, you get that reward. The next little trick is uh, how to get up there without having to buy the clam. What you want to do is you want to be right here. Uh, this just saves you some time and you want to jump over to this uh, on top of this yellow hut. Or the yellow hut, huh, pink. Uh, but run across, across these flags. You can jump here. Jump on this little edge right here and then jump all the way up here. And then you can jump right onto the thing or just land and jump on it later. Uh, there's a spatula down there, so definitely get that. Uh, but then after, if you don't have that checkpoint, then I would recommend getting it. Uh, and then after you get that checkpoint, you can do that. And there's a sock up here. Or if you already have the checkpoint and you're coming from there, you can jump on here and just get up here the same way. You want to stand right on this little edge right here and then do a double jump right here to land on this. And then usually I wait a little bit after this Tiki and then go right there and then you want to jump at the very end. It's okay if uh, Hans takes you, you still have time to get the spatula. It's actually faster if you have Hans take you, uh, just that little bit. But if you don't have Hans take you, then just ground smash into the water uh, so you can respawn here the fastest. But now... One little trick to get back there fast is to get on this slide and you want to jump and then jump and get that little corner right there. It takes some practice to get right, but once you do, it's really nice. Now that we're going backwards through uh, Goo Lagoon, we can actually just spawn right into this cave and then get the spatula right here. We don't even have to go inside the cave at all. Then after that, you just want to spawn back at Gary to go to the front of this cave and then you can go back out the entrance to get the other spatula. Yeah, there'll be a spatula right here. The next part is that you can actually get on top of here and there's a sock up here on top of these things. You can get that. And then you can jump all the way back down, get on top of this rock and then do a late jump to get inside the sock in here. After this, you can teleport 
since you got the uh, the guy on top of the boxes already, you can go teleport to Larry and you get a spatula from him, and then that's all up Gooligan. Okay guys, that's going to do this for this first uh, video in this series. I just wanted to cover Hub 1 and then uh, the Bikini Bottom itself, just because those are, to be honest, the more challenging areas. There's still uh, some more challenging spots, but I'll save those for later videos, so please like and subscribe. Tell me uh, if I missed anything or if you have any more uh, strats I didn't cover today. I'd love to hear them. Uh, but anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you guys later.